I awoke this morning to the surprising news that attorney John C. Eastman, erstwhile dean of the Chapman University Law School here in the OC, and primary architect of the patently absurd legal theory that Vice President Mike Pence had it within his power to overturn the results of the 2020 election, had effectively thrown his client, former President Donald Trump, under the proverbial bus. As you probably know, Eastman has been fighting tooth and nail to prevent the Congressional Committee investigating the January 6th insurrection at the U.S. Capitol from obtaining many of his emails related to that event. Eastman has claimed that his emails are shielded by attorney-client privilege since he was working for Trump when he formulated his theory. The January 6th committee, which had subpoenaed those emails, countered that they had evidence suggesting that Trump may have violated several federal laws in connection with what happened on January 6th. Now, there is an exception to the attorney-client privilege in cases where the attorney was aiding in the furtherance of a fraud or a crime. Federal, federal Court Judge David O. Carter had previously ruled that a substantial number of Eastman's emails could be turned over to the committee under that exception. In his latest attempt to prevent some of his emails from reaching the committee, Eastman claimed that he was de facto Trump's criminal defense attorney in the case and thus had the right to demand that the committee turn over to him any possible exculpatory evidence it might have in its possession, as is required in criminal cases. Now, this appears to be, have been just another delaying tactic on Eastman's part, and Judge Carter ruled on March 5th that this still was a civil case, and Eastman was under no threat of losing his liberty. Uh, the two cases cited by Eastman did not apply, and that Eastman must turn over the emails to the committee promptly. Uh, I wasn't surprised by Carter's ruling, which probably took him about a millisecond and a half to formulate. But what I find truly amazing and what makes this an item worthy of inclusion and you can't make this stuff up file is that by claiming he was acting as Trump's de facto criminal attorney, he is in effect throwing his client under the bus. He is implying that yes, indeed, Trump may be criminally liable for what happened on uh, January 6th. As I often say, there is never a dull moment here in the OC. If you've enjoyed this ep episode from my You Can't Make This Stuff Up file, I'd appreciate it greatly if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on my picture in the circle below. Thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned for another episode of You Can't Make This Stuff Up.